masses, Hindu and Muslim new masses, new masses where Jews and Unitarians offer candles to false gods. There are churches where the entire congregation says the mass with the priest, where the priest sometimes talks to the people instead of saying mass. What we have cataloged is just a tiny sampling of the kind of thing that occurs in every diocese in the world where the new mass is celebrated, to one degree or another. Our Lord tells us, by their fruits you shall know them. The fruits of the new mass are incalculably scandalous, sacrilegious, and idolatrous. This is because the new mass itself is a false, invalid mass and an abomination. When the new mass came out in 1969, Cardinals Ottaviani, Bacci, and some other theologians wrote to Paul VI about it. Keep in mind that what they said about the new mass concerns the Latin version, the quote, most pure version of the new mass. Their study is popularly known as the Ottaviani Intervention. It states, quote, The Novus Ordo, the new order of Mass, represents both as a whole and in its details a striking departure from the Catholic theology of the Mass, as it was formulated in Session 22 of the Council of Trent. They could clearly see that the Latin version of the new Mass was a striking departure from the teaching of the Council of Trent. Of the twelve offertory prayers in the traditional Mass, only two are retained in the new Mass. The deleted offertory prayers are the same ones that the Protestant heretics Martin Luther and Thomas Cranmer eliminated. The new Mass was promulgated by Paul VI with the help of six Protestant ministers. We see them pictured here. Paul VI even admitted to his good friend Jean Guiton that his intention in changing the Mass was to make it Protestant. Jean Guiton, an intimate friend of Paul VI, wrote, quote, The intention of Paul VI with regard to what is commonly called